the wise carpenter. Once upon a time, there lived a carpenter in the capital town of a kingdom. Just next door to the carpenters lived a priest who was very ill-natured and wicked. So, the carpenter always tried to avoid him. One day, the priest called the carpenter to his house and said, If you build me a nice wooden house, I'll pray to God to grant you good fortune. The carpenter lost no time to follow that the priest was up for some evil mischief. Thinking for a while, he said, My fortune lies in my own two hands. I do not want anybody else to pray for me. If need be, I myself shall pray to the Almighty. The priest had no words to reply, and so he kept silent. But he felt insulted in his heart of hearts and made up his mind to avenge his disrespect. He kept thinking for many days. At last, he hit upon a clever plan. Next morning, the priest went to the king and said, Your Majesty, I went on a visit to heaven the day before yesterday and happened to meet your revered father. All is well with him, but he wants a temple built there for his daily worship. He gave me a message for you. As there are no carpenters in heaven, he wants you to send an expert carpenter there. Why not? Get me a good carpenter then. But how shall I send him to heaven? Said the king anxiously. No problem, your majesty. A fine carpenter lives just next door to mine. And I am here to make arrangements for sending him to heaven. But how after all? Inquired the king. We shall have a wooden hut built by the carpenter and then shut him up in it. After that, we shall set the hut on fire. The dark smoke rising from the fire shall take the carpenter to heaven with it. The king felt very happy to know of the plan and sent for the carpenter. The carpenter was told all that he was to do. The carpenter understood that it was the priest's mischief. Seeking the king's permission to inform his family, he came back home. The carpenter told his wife, who was very intelligent, about the king's order. She said, Don't worry at all. We shall secretly dig a tunnel from the hut to our house for you to escape. The next day, the carpenter started building the hut and managed to dig a tunnel also, as told by his wife. When he was shut in the hut and it was set on fire, he escaped through the tunnel and reached home safe and sound. But he made up his mind to teach the priest a bitter lesson. Thinking hard over the matter, for a few days he made a clever plan and went to the king's court. Bowing low, he said to the king, Your Majesty, I reached heaven and built a temple for your respected father, but he needs a priest to help him in his daily worship. No problem at all. I have a neighbor priest well known to me. 
I'll send him to heaven just as I sent you. He will assist my dear father in his daily worship. Said the king. So, the priest was sent for and was told what he was to do. He was shot in a wooden hut and it was set on fire. In no time, the priest was burned alive to ashes. The carpenter was able to turn the tables on the cunning priest by the virtue of his wisdom.